Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the data-driven testing. Data-driven testing plays a very important role when you are testing the same endpoint for different set of data. In Karate framework, you can use the scenario outline keyword to achieve the data-driven testing. Let me show you this with an example. So inside the post request package, I'm going to create one more package and let me call it as data-driven. Inside this package, I'm going to add a feature file. Inside this feature file, I'm going to add a feature keyword and provide a short title. So in our previous video, when we were writing a scenario, we used the scenario keyword. In this case, we need to perform the data driven testing. So the keyword which we need to use is the scenario outline. And this keyword is coming from the Gherkin language. I will provide a small title and then I will specify the scenario steps. In case of scenario outline, you need to use given when then end to specify the scenario step. So these are the steps for the scenario. I'm just using the print method in every step. In order to specify the data set, we need to use one more keyword that is the examples. And this keyword can be only used with the scenario outline. Under the example keyword, we need to specify the data set in the form of a table. So this is how you need to specify your data set under the examples keyword. So we have column headers and column values. During the runtime, this scenario will get executed for every row which is present in the data table. Now in order to use the value of these columns, in the scenario steps, we need to use the column header like this. So in this manner, during the runtime, the framework will know that which column value need to be substituted in the scenario step. So in this case, the same scenario will get executed twice because we have two rows in our data table and it will exclude the header row. So let me create the runner for this feature file and run this runner. So let us look at the console. So you can see here during the runtime in the scenario step, the value are being replaced, which is coming from the data table. And as you can see here also, the same scenario is getting executed twice. This is for the first row and this is for the second row, excluding the column header row. If you notice one thing, for both the execution, same scenario name is being used. If you want to differentiate the scenario name, you can use any of the column header in the title also. And let me rerun this runner. Now let us look at the name. So as you can see here, for every execution, the name is getting changed. And this capability is only present in the Karate framework. If you take the same scenario and execute in the Cucumber framework, you will not have the capability of accessing the variable name in the title. And let's say if I have one more row, then the execution will happen three times. 